today we are going to discuss questions related to arithmetic sequence from two previous question papers that is SSLC examination March 2018 and model examination February 2018. The algebraic form of an arithmetic sequence is 5 and plus 3. What is the first term of the sequence? What will be the remainder if the terms of the sequence are divided by 5? It's a question from SSLC 2018 and the score is 2. In the algebraic form, xn is given as 5n plus 3. We have to find the first term. First term is x1, that is x1 equal to 5 into 1 plus 3 or that is equal to 8. Given that algebraic form is 5n plus 3, therefore all the terms of the sequence are of the form a multiple of 5 plus 3, for example 8, 13, etc. So the remainder when the terms are divided by 5 is 3. The 25th term of an arithmetic sequence is 140. And the 27th term is 166. What is the common difference? What is the 35th term? It's a question from model examination 2018. And the score is 2. Given that 25th term is 140. And 27th term is 166. If we add common difference to the 25th term, we get the 26th term. Again, if we add common difference to that, we get 27th term. That means the difference between 27th and 25th terms is 2 times common difference. So we can write 2 times common difference equal to 27th term minus 25th term. Here 27th term is 166 and 25th term is 140. So we can write it as 166 minus 140 and that is equal to 26 and therefore D equal to 26 by 2 and that is equal to 13. That is the common difference is 13. Now we have to find the 35th term. We know 35th term equal to 25th term plus 10 times common difference. A 25th term is 140 and common difference is 13. So we can write it as 140 plus 10 into 13. That is 140 plus 130 and that is equal to 270. That is the 35th term equal to 270. The algebraic form of the sum of first n terms of an arithmetic sequence is 2n square plus 8n. How many consecutive terms of this sequence starting from the first are to be added to get 330? It's a question from SLC 2018 and the score is 3. The 10 terms are to be added to get 330. Then we can write 2n square plus 8n equal to 330. It's a second degree equation now. Let us divide all the terms by 2. Then we get n square plus 4n equal to 165. Let us use completing square method. Here the coefficient of n is 4. Its half is 2 and its square is 4. So let us add 4 on both sides to make it a perfect square. Now the left hand side is a perfect square and it is the square of n plus 2. So we can write n plus 2 all square is equal to 169. Now finding square roots on both sides we can write n plus 2 equal to plus or minus 13. Now we can split this into two equations n plus 2 equal to 13 or n plus 2 equal to minus 13. From the first one we can write n equal to 13 minus 2 
or n equal to 11 and from the second one we can write n equal to minus 13 minus 2 or that is equal to minus 15 but we know number of terms cannot be negative so the number of terms is 11 that is number of terms to be added to get 330 is 11. There are 20 terms in an arithmetic sequence. Sum of the first and last terms is 88. What is the sum of the second and 19th terms? If the 10th term is 42, what is the 11th term? What is the common difference of the sequence? What is the first term? It's a question from SSLC 2018 and the score is 4. Given that Sum of the first term, last term is 88. Also given that there are only 20 terms. Therefore, we can say sum of the first term, 20th term equal to 88. That's x1 plus x20 equal to 88. Now, look at the positions, first and 20th. Whenever the sum of the positions is same, the sum of the terms is also same. That is, first term plus 20th term equal to 88. Therefore, second term plus 19th term is also equal to 88. And third term plus 18th term is also 88. Fourth term plus 17th term is also 88. So, we can say sum of the second and 19th term is equal to 88. Now the second part of the question, if the 10th term is 42, what is the 11th term? For the same reason we can say sum of 10th and 11th term is also 88. And given that 10th term is 42, so we can replace 42 plus 11th term equal to 88. So 11th term is 88 minus 42 and that is equal to 46. Now the third part of the question, what is the common difference of the sequence? Here we have given that 10th term is 42. Now we got that 11th term is 46. So clearly common difference is 4. Now the last part of the question, what is the first term? You want that 10th term is 42. That is First term plus 9 times common difference equal to 42. And we know the common difference is 4. So first term plus 9 into 4 is equal to 42. Or first term plus 36 equal to 42. So first term equal to 42 minus 36 or 6. That is the first term is 6. Sum of the first 5 terms of an arithmetic sequence is 45. What is the third term? The common difference of the sequence is 4. Write the first two terms. Write another arithmetic sequence having the sum of the first five terms 45. This is a question from model examination 2018 and the score is 4. Given that sum of the first five terms is 45. Here, number of terms is odd. Whenever the number of terms is odd, middle term equal to sum of the terms divided by number of terms. Here, third term is the middle term. So, we can write third term equal to sum of the terms divided by number of terms. That is 45 by 5. So, the third term equal to 9. Now, given that the common difference is 4, so, when you subtract common difference from 9, we get the second term as 5. And again, if we subtract, we get the first term as 1. So, the first two terms are 1 and 5. Now, we have to write another arithmetic sequence having the sum of the first five terms, 45. We can take any number as common difference and we can write the sequence. For example, if we take D as 1, then 8 is the second term and 7 is the first term. And we can write the sequence as 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Consider the numbers between 100 and 300 which leave remainder 2 on division by 3 which is the first number in the sequence which is the last number in the sequence. How many such numbers are there in this sequence? Find the sum of all numbers in the sequence. This is a question from SSLC 2018 and the score is 5. Here we have to consider numbers between 100 and 300. That is starting from 101 to 299. Let us take the first number 101 and check whether it satisfies our condition or not. Let us divide 101 by 3 and check whether we get a remainder 2 or not. We can see that 33 threes are 99 and there is a remainder 2. And therefore, the first number in this sequence is 101. The second part of the problem is which is the last number in this sequence. As we have seen, the last number is 299. Let us check again whether it satisfies the conditions or not. Let us divide, it by, divide 299 by 3 and check whether there is a remainder 2 or not. And we can see 99 threes are 297 and there is again a remainder 2. So the last number in this sequence is 299. Now the third part of the question is how many such numbers are there in this sequence? Now we are taking the numbers which leave a remainder on division by 3. So it is an arithmetic sequence with common difference 3. And we have seen that first term is 101 and last term is 299. Let us take 299 as the nth term. Then we can see first term plus n minus 1 times common difference equal to 299. And we know first term is 101 and the common difference is 3. So we can write 101 plus n minus 1 into 3 is 299. Let us multiply 3 by n minus 1. Then we get 101 plus 3n minus 3 equal to 299. Subtracting 3 from 101, we get 98. So we can simplify this as 3n plus 98 equal to 299. Taking 98 on the other side, we can write 3n equal to 299 by 98. That is 201. Now n is equal to 201 by 3 and that is equal to 67. That means there are 67 terms in this arithmetic sequence. Now we have to find the sum of all numbers in this sequence. We have already got first term as 101, last term as 299, common difference as 3 and number of terms 67. We know sum of n terms of an arithmetic sequence is n by 2 into first term plus last term. Let us replace the values. Here n is 67. So we can write 67 by 2 into 101 plus 299. The sum of 101 and 299 is 400. So we can simplify this as 67 by 2 into 400. 200 twos are 400. So we can simplify and write 67 into 200 and that is 13,400. That is sum of all numbers in the sequence is 13,400. Find the least and highest three digit numbers which leave a remainder 1 on division by 9. How many three digit numbers are there? which leave a remainder 1 on division by 9. Find sum of all such numbers. This is a question from model examination 2018 and the score is 5. The least 3 digit number is 100 
and highest three digit number is 999. Let us take 100 and divide it by 9 to observe whether there is a remainder 1 or not. And we can see 9 11s are 99 and there is a remainder 1. Therefore, the first term of the sequence is 100. The least three digit number which leaves a remainder 1 on division by 9 is 100. Just like this, we can take 999 and divide it by 9 to check whether the remainder is 1 or not. Now we can see 111 are 999 and there is no remainder or the remainder is 0. That means 999 is a multiple of 9. Now to get a remainder 1, we have to subtract 8 from that. If we subtract 1, we will get 8 as remainder. If we subtract 2, we will get 7 as remainder. If we subtract 3, we will get 6 as remainder. So we have to subtract 8 to get 1 as remainder. So the last term of the sequence is 991. Another way we can say 999 is a multiple of 9. The multiple just below it is 990. Now to get a remainder we can just add 1 to it. So the highest 3 digit number which leaves the remainder 1 on division by 9 is 990. Now the second part of the question is how many 3 digit numbers are there which leaves the remainder 1 on division by 9. That means we have to find the number of terms of this sequence. Let 991 be the nth term. Then we can say first term plus n minus 1 into d equal to 991. Here we got first term is 100 and since it is a sequence of numbers which leave a remainder 1 on division by 9, the common difference is 9. So we can substitute the values and we can write 100 plus and minus 1 into 9 equal to 991. Multiplying we will get 100 plus 9 and minus 9 equal to 999. 100 minus 9 is 91. So we can write 9 and plus 91 equal to 991. Taking 91 on the other side we can write 9n equal to 991 minus 91 which is equal to 900. Therefore, n equal to 900 divided by 9 that is 100. That means number of terms in this sequence is 100. Now the last part is find the sum of all such numbers. We have got the first term as 100, last term as 991, common difference is 9 and number of terms is 100. We know sum of n terms of an arithmetic sequence is n by 2 into first term plus last term. Here n is 100. So we can write 100 by 2 into 100 plus 991. That's equal to 100 by 2 into 1091. Multiplying 100 and 1091 will get 1 lakh and 9100 divided by 2 and that's equal to 54,550.